It's her mission to really become one of the best receivers in the league. She's in the yep. top 10 in the uh, in the conference. That's right, and uh, that has been uh, the play so far of the teams. You know, targeting si Cici, pagurin si Cici. And di ba, pangalan niya ang Cici Rondina Papagot. Exactly. <laughs> First time BDL and then Lazaro. Yes. Will be going up against the old team. Molde. Atienza with a dig. Ponce with her own. From behind, the push. That's such a classic Suzy Rondina. You know, volleyball like you said. But another flying titan has managed to fly higher and step up. And that is Honey Royce Tobino. Now, Royce tells me she's grateful for the chance. The start, the right? Yes. And remember when she made the shift? Uh -huh. yep, yep, yep. And since Jana was talking about training, ngayon eh, mas malapit na sa kanya. <laughs> mas madali na sa kanya mag-train. As compared to when she was uh, with PLDT because of the venues of yes. the training. PDL, her first point against her former team. Starting lineup for uh, Freemline Blue Smashers. You see, yo, hindi lang sa skills, pati yung parang... Uh, Confidence. The veteran Tubino. Goes to Denden. Tots Papawe. Umiwas si Tubino, pero pumaso. That was a little bit high. Tubino's body line. That's why she let it go. But I mean, Tots Carlos, sukat na sukat. And Tubino a little bit off. It is essential for Creamline to win this match to keep themselves in the hunt. Return to sender. Right. Shut down on uh, her former teammate, Kabayag. That's automatically a point. Panaga! <laughs> Five. Sorry. Bangs Panaga with her second point. Highlighted her numbers in the finals. Good activation there. Um, Z, especially. It is Petrogas and PLDT that are number one and two. It's just because Brooke Van Sickle and Savvy Davison, is that what it is? The King Crunchers in attendance. Mm. The Criss Cross King Crunchers. Green line ahead by four. CC from behind. It's good. Reaction there by Galanza to at least keep it in place. He's asking for another one, but it is Royce who goes over the triple block. Where, you know, uh, Choco Mucho was ahead. Ooh, Maddie sent it over. Magkakataon pa rin para kay Molde, bumalik! And Tupino, yeah. Yeah, so far that has been the story here in set number one. There is a reason why they are multiple champions. There's a reason why they're defending champions. There's also a reason why they are 11-0 against the Titans. Negrito shoots it to Eliza Valdez. 20. So far, the cool smasher seems like, you know, breezing through this match, catching uh, the Flying Titans a little bit, you know, off So, okay na raw sila. Okay na raw relationship nila sa with uh, Araneta. <laughs> Gemma! We haven't heard from her! Gemma Galanza, don't forget! That's an outside hitter. You know, you're always gonna have to be the best in adjusting in sets. This received. Shaky. Yeah. Running attack. CC sends it back. Dots will set it up to Gemma again. Choco still in it. A rather steep hit to climb here for the Flying Titans. Lalo na sa dulo na. Yes. Creamline usually very good at protecting leads. Nobody home! This is not your usual Flying Titan form. They're usually the best in blocking. This will be Mars Alba's first time against Creamline. So that was also an interesting factor. Kyle Negrito closes 
the show for the first set. There is a certain look of, uh, in the uh, cream line faces right now, and uh, I'm looking at them. They're very serious today. Definitely. CC with a serious leap, gets the point, scrapes the line, and gives him a two-point lead. Thank you very much, Jana. And uh, you're right, you know, if cream line loses, they go down, obviously, seven and three. Temporarily, as you see that emphatic block, but uh, look at, don't look now, because Baki is back on the side of the Flying Titans. Now you talk about pride. 7-5. By the way, that breaks a 3-0 run of Cream Lions. Yes. Thoughts again. Dog by Tubino. Maddie with a power tip. Gets a point back. Good first ball there. Run and gun! <laughs> you're blocking something like that, you need to be established. So, you know, the balls get rebounded really well. CC was still moving in that one. Ruling Hule. Just like that, on cue. 10-9. Banks Panaga, we highlighted the value of her award five times. And sometimes people forget that. Chance here to tie for cream line. Ponce was ready. CC on the counter. Bumalik na naman ang bola. Bantayado, bantayado si CC. Gemma, one of the better servers, always on uh, every conference. Papapawi in. And CCS takes the lead. Balik kay Denise. Thoughts. Corner pocket shot. Puts it away. With the same kind of power behind every swing. Good receive there by CC. Underhand pass. Carlos says, squeeze me for the 16th point for the Green Light Cool Smashers. Back to Denise. Nobody home. Gemma Galanza. Gemma receiving. Rumisib, Pumalo. Mali on the run. Backtracking. To the other players. Even with uh, Choco Mucho, you know? Mm -hmm. That's out. Was there a block touch? Yes, there was, according to Bobby Celso. 20 serving 18. Tina underhand to CC. We have seen that time and time again, and there is no accident there. 5 6, if I'm not mistaken. That's 5,000 more than the previous record, which was 19,000. Z as Creamline now is lording it over. Oh. Nakatayo na lang right. dahil nakaporma na yung blockers ng cool smashers. Si Gemma naman nakaabang dun sa may down the line. Kung yes. sakasakali, speaking of, walang nakabantay sa down the line. Ito. Has been a valuable sub for Coach Sherwin. Molde gets a point back. Down three. 20, 23. Go back to Denise. Thoughts rolls it to the other side. Dina sends it to Molde. Doug. Counter attack. Maddie shuts the door on BDL. Three point lead earlier in the set. Dreamline has had a four point lead in this set. Denise again with a perfect pass. <laughs> Look at that. Following the script. Thoughts. We got MG in front, making sure. It's a good block. Royce gets one point back. One set point save. She can also set to uh, Dina Wong. I was going to say, she can also attack. Valdez. Coverage by Galanza. Balike Valdez. Cross court. And Valdez scores. Will the Flying Titans extend? This uh, one heck of a night boom. <laughs> Third set is on the run. 
The rebound off CC Rondina's attack. Kalanza, binantayan ni Wong sa down the line. CC from behind, binantayan ni Panaga sa gitna ng net. Negrito reverses to Tots. Yeah. Of course he does. In the two losses of Creamline, and even in that win against Farm Fresh and in that win against Signal. Signal had a two sets to love lead and a four point lead in the third set, which they lost. And now they have a Two sets to love lead here. Calanza. Valdez was there for coverage. Tots na naman! There is nobody more That's the had a chance. That yeah. have to yeah. take at this point, Boom. Not that time, says Eliza Valdez. Molde gets it back, though. It's been a while, so let's hear from Jana Ejido. Thanks, Carlos Canina. It is all in our hands. Lagi lang kami ni Rare remind ni Coach to stay focused and most importantly, prepared. In fact, Coach Sherwin also added to this conversation. Well, they get one back at, uh, mm -hmm. on the Chocomucho uh, team. And it's interesting because, again, the pressure is actually on uh, the Cool Smashers to win today. Pero ang bigat ng uh, body language itong uh, Flying Titans. Well, you know, the first point there is Greenlight's used to the pressure also. Yeah. In that context, may pressure din ang Choco Mucho yes. to win. Yes. Because they haven't won against Greenline. PDL with a block breaker. Uh, points for his team, 14 for Creamline. CC will get it back. Finally gets one for herself, 12 points for Rondina. That's what it is. Execution has been very close to perfect. Rondina from behind. Atienza. Nobody taking the second ball. And millions more watching all over the world. Chocomucho fans, a bit uh, shocked here that they're down six and down two sets. Reverse to Tubino. Again, the delay by the blocking of Creamline. And speaking of blocking, they get one on Eliza of supporting their favorites. <laughs> Shank. Shank again on the receive on their sister team right now. Molde, right behind the blockers. Valdez wanted to get there, couldn't. You know, she goes to a team where historically, the improvement of the middle blockers is well documented. Risa Sato, thanks Panaga. Even if maybe it's not as huge mm -hmm. of a jump, right? but you know that it's gonna work. Mm -hmm. Because they put such a premium in their middle blockers, Streamline does. That's the reason why attackers like Gemma and Tots have a lot of opportunities. Because they're always going to be aggressive yung mga middle blockers on Streamline. Chocomucho with only one loss so far in the tournament. That was against the high speed hitters at the San Juan Arena. <laughs> Galanza, the one hand dig by CC. And CC finally with a block breaker there for her 16th point. Kyle. To BDL. Rondina saves one. Rondina. To Valdez. Galanza rolls it to the other side. And Chavo Mucho saving a couple of match points. 2-0 run. Elisa with a perfect pass. 1-2 play, did not materialize. Try again, says Kyle. Panaga sent back. It is outside, and Creamline does it. Straight sets win.